Good day, bloomers. I hope you're all doing so well, guys. Uh, welcome to Fusumuzi Kota's uh, class. Ne? So, on our class, we're going to share with you applications in the universities, bursaries, uh, study tips, and classes of mathematics and sciences going forward, guys. Ne? Hope you're all doing so well. So, today's, on today's episode, we're going to share with you two uh, bursary schemes that will help you when you're going to the universities, guys. Ne? They are true that they are very good but there are many of you that are still open but today i'm going to share i'm going to share two bursary schemes that are good that you can apply for uh, in the next few days before they get close before the end of january yeah, guys yes and at the end of the lesson i'm going to share with you an app that you can need to register your name on the database of the higher education so that you can be chosen or so that you can be called by university to go to have a space maybe in the next semester or next year so guys, the first one is uh, NSFAS. NSFAS is a National Student Financial Aid Scheme. Ne? NSFAS can be applied by any student who wants to study any course, ne? an undergraduate course to be specific, guys. Ne? So NSFAS uh, is a South African government student financial aid scheme which provides financial aid to undergraduate students, basically those students, first-timers, first-time students or in the universities, NSFAS can provide you with funding irrespective of any course that you're going to do ne? and the requirements. You're going to need your own cell phone and email so that you can create a profile on NSFAS uh, website, ne? Uh, a copy of ID that is certified or a birth certificate ne? of yourself as a student and ID copies of your parents, guardian or spouse ne? so they're gonna need your copy of id that is certified of your parents that is certified when one of your parents ne? can be your guardian or your parent it doesn't matter as long as that person is related to you obviously then so proof of income if applicable just like if your parent is working they will need a proof of income ne? if your parent is working and uh, they will need your and obviously, a person needs to have a valid South African ID. Yeah? Uh, and obviously, uh, I've already explained about to your ID, your guardians or parents' ID that is certified. If applicable, you need to uh, provide with proof of income. If your parent is working, if you are uh, disabled, there's a, there's a, there's, there's a form there on the NSS website that you can uh, download as a PDF and use it to apply. Yeah. So, so if you're disabled, there's a form that you need to uh, fill in the on the webs NSS website so they can provide you with whatever that you need or guys for you to obviously uh, be a be a successful student at the end of the day. Or that's the need. Then. If you need more information, you can literally just ask me on the comment section or privately because there's a lot of information that I, there's a lot of information that I haven't shared about guys. So if you need a lot of information, go to the comment section or email me, contact me, I'll literally assist you. Then uh, what will NSFAS provide to students? Accommodation, money, transport money, living allowance, learning material allowance personal care allowance and the application will be closed by the 30th, 31st of January 2023 so go and apply if you are struggling with creating a profile and uploading documents contact me if you're comfortable with sharing of your personal information you can just you can literally contact me guys I will help where I, where you need my help obviously so for more information comment section or my email is is there on the description I will help you guys then the second one is Funza Lushaka. Funza Lushaka, guys. Funza Lushaka is a program that supports teaching studies and available to qualified students to complete a teaching degree. So this one is for teachers only. Only, only, only. If you're not going to be a teacher, then don't apply for Funza Lushaka. Ne? And it funds for undergraduate students, first timers, those ones who haven't gotten a degree or 
a certificate at university so you can apply for it if you're a first time student you can apply it as a under you can i mean you can apply it as a graduate student as a graduate student you know? maybe you completed your undergraduate studies then you want to maybe you're doing marketing you know? then you want to do pgce post a graduate certificate in education pgce is a one-year course maybe you're doing marketing you want to do teaching you can use you have a you already have a degree you can try to apply for funds if you want to do pgce you know, guys yes uh, this pgc is, is an university obviously after maybe you're not doing a uh, form of your first first year you're not doing teaching then you want to do teaching if you were doing marketing for example then you want to apply for a uh, funds shark to assist you to complete a teaching degree a uh, certificate pgce called it you know. then requirements citizen SA south african citizen a uh, good academic performance a uh, proof of admission a uh, two bachelor's degree studies at metric ne? so you ought to how to get bachelor at metric proof of uh, as a first time applicant obviously then so if you uh, want to specialize in a minimum of level 4 rating in at grade 12 in, in subject which the applicant will specialize to teach ne? Uh, for example if you are going to do basic education in mathematics be it in mathematics is a teaching in mathematics ne? maybe at a particular university of technology CUT maybe then you want to you want to specialize in math and science so to, uh, to get level 4 in math level 4 in physical sciences in grade 12 for you to be able to uh, qualify for for the shark so if you want to specialize in with a uh, life science in physical science or to pass level four physical science level four life sciences then you will be called you qualify for for the shark you know? then if you want to specialize in foundation phase be at in foundation phases you ought to pass maths and maths lead you, know, you ought to pass maths and maths lead irrespective of the level but you have to pass it obviously but you might get level four in in home language in your own home language can be so to English, Africans, Sibay, this is Strana, whatsoever, language Tebele, Zulu, Stosa, all those languages you must get level 4 in them upwards and pass maths or maths lead in K12 for you to qualify for B8 in foundation phases. Then, uh, if you want to. Uh, if you want to specialize in technology or to pass level 4 with mathematics and CAD. If you want to specialize in CAD and technology, you ought to get level four in mathematics. But CAD and Creona, it is, uh, it is, you can do it maybe at some school they don't offer CAD. But if they offer, they offer CAD at the school you want to specialize with CAD and technology, you ought to get level four in mathematics. But if you don't have CAD but you want to specialize in technology, be it in technology, you ought to specialize in, uh, you ought to get level four in mathematics. By the way, with exclusion of a cat if they want if you're not doing it at your school but if you're doing your auto you want to you want to specialize in cat and uh, technology or to get level for your mathematics but if you're not doing cat it's still fine it only only specialize in technology then you must get level four i hope you understand me on that point guys then other thing so then the application will be closed on the 16th of january 2023 and you'll be you'll receive a response by the 30th of april go to your uh, application successful or not but in the meantime this one is not reliable and you ought to apply for nsfas nsfas is very proper guys it's so uh, it's so good man it's nice nsfas this one takes long for them to to approve your application because they will, up, they will only approve it by the 30th of april already the second semester by the way guys so there are many teaching bazaaris in here that i might share with you guys but if you need other bazaaris or if you need more information on such programs contact me comment section i'm, I'm there i will respond to all your questions or inquiries uh, then guys i hope you're all doing so well and other thing that, I'm, that I, I promise to share from the start of the video is, is the app that you can uh, use that you can apply this app is called a center application clearing house 
C A C A C A C H. So just search. I will share a link there on the comments and on the on the description. That, that link will direct you to the website of Central Application Clearing House. Ne? That's where you'll register your name on the database of the Department of Higher Education. And if there's a space for you in the in this in the particular university, maybe next year, then they will tell you what you must apply or they tell you to provide information to the university then you will get up admitted so if there is a call that you've applied maybe this course is going to be only be done in june or second semester here in june 2023 then they'll be able to inform you what there's a space here come to our university and apply properly or if there's a course that you have applied maybe that course is for 2024 then they'll inform you before the end of uh end of closing date of the application code today the space on in our university come and apply so they can get admitted so this app is good to save you on the database of the department of higher education so I'll share the link on the, on the description and you just click there and it will direct you to their proper uh, site so i hope this information helped you a lot guys does uh, uh, apply to universities if you need help with up late applications i'm here i can assist you with direction and information and let us meet in the next video. Perhaps we'll be start teaching next week Monday on the 17th of January. We start with our maths and sciences lessons. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share for us to know about this uh, information because this one is so very difficult to find on the internet, guys. I hope you're all doing so well. Thank you, Bloomers. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Good luck to creators who are going to get their results on the 20th of uh, January. Thank you very much.